Hi guys, right, well it's Sunday morning, um, it's about 11 o'clock and I'm running out of excuses, it's time to paint the Atat. So this has been dry now for the best part of a week, so all the pre-shading I've done, the primer, it's all nice and dry. The legs are sort of fixed in position, they've got a bit of give just to make sure I get everything nice and level. Watched over by Kylo back there, but um, yeah, it's basically time to get cracking. So I'm going to go out to the garage in a sec get a nice mix of some thin paint and start painting this bad boy. So for colour wise, I'm just going to go with the same sort of colour, sort of like a Star Destroyer colour, an Imperial light grey, but I think it needs to be something a little bit darker to match the film. So what I've decided to go with, is hopefully this will focus, is, come on, the Tamiya XF66 light grey. So it's a little bit darker than the light grey, so hopefully that'll be enough. I've mixed up a good mix of the <coughs> light grey and some Tamiya thinner, ready to spray the at, at Right, well that's the legs done, um, and um, while it's still a bit wet, I'm quite pleased with the result. You can still see, hopefully it's coming across in the camera, the white parts that I pre-shaded. But yeah, it's not bad. I like this, I think this might be something to continue. I think this is a good example of where the pre-shading comes through because what I did is using the thin paint, painted it just enough so that the white underneath disappeared. Now it's starting to dry, it's starting to uh, come back a bit so you can see exactly where all of the white was. So hopefully, um, well may it continue, eh? Especially around the back here, quite like that. And on the head, it's starting to look quite good. Well, I think that's pretty good. Everything's drying nicely. And yeah, you can see the white coming through underneath. So that's a success, I'd say. Obviously, there's lots of weathering and uh, washes and stuff to go on. But um, I think in terms of painting, that's looking pretty good. Hi, guys. Well, the Antat's been drying for about two weeks now. So it's nice and uh, ready for the weathering. About an hour or so ago, I sprayed on some of the Humbrol enamel wash, which dries in minutes, so it's been drying for about an hour or so outside. It's an unusually sunny day here in Aylesbury. And um, next I'm going to use some of the Flooring Models dark dirt wash that I used for the Star Destroyer a couple of weeks ago and um, weather this thing. So I'm going to basically paint the entire thing with the wash, leave it dry for half an hour or so, and then start wiping it away. So at this point, the at has been drying with its flooring models dark wash for about half an hour or so, maybe a bit longer. It's starting to look really horrible, but all of this will be wiped away with a piece of paper towel and a bit of water. So fast forward an hour or so, all of the wash has been wiped away using a damp paper towel and it's starting to look really good. You can see all the wash kept in the nooks and crannies, you can see the pre-shading showing through and uh, yeah, just leave it to dry for a bit and um, then we can go on to the next stage which was the dry brushing. So I used a Tamiya XF19 Sky Grey to do this and uh, what follows next is a little beauty shot of the at, -at outside in a random Friday sunshine. So here's the at, at outside in the sun, a uh, nice sunny afternoon which is really good and this looks really nice. It's actually a little bit darker than coming across in the video but uh, still looks pretty awesome. Um, so what I decided to do after this was to get on with some wash to put across the feet to make it look a bit dirty and then start applying the battle damage. So to try and represent some of the battle damaged, I use MIG products uh, black smoke pigment and uh, basically ground all of this in using a really old brush into all of the 
dents and laser bolt marks which I used um, the soldering iron for back at the start of the build. So this is the wash I decided to use, Greyphone Sipia wash from Citadel and found it lying in the paint drawer and basically painted it across the bottom of the feet and all the pads to try and get some sort of dirt representation across as if we were walking through a muddy field, something other than the Battle of Hoth, but it uh, came across pretty well. And here's a few more shots, you can see it's all dried in now and um, started to look really good. I used a few uh, bits and bobs across the top and uh, on the sides of the main hull you see now. There we go, to try and represent a bit more of the streaking, but um, yeah, it's looking good. Overall, it's been an extremely fun kit to build, and I've enjoyed every single minute of it. Thanks for watching this, and if you enjoyed watching the video, please support the channel by pressing that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more builds like this, please subscribe by clicking the channel logo. See you next time!